Our question is saying we should use Norton's theorem to find the current through this 3 ohm resistor. And to apply Norton's theorem, the first thing we do, we take the resistor out of the circuit. After taking the resistor out of the circuit, we just name the current flowing through it as IN. Then we need to find the total resistance in this circuit. To find the total resistance in this circuit, we realize that 2 and 3 are in power. This 3 and 3 are in power, then 2.4 and the 5 are in power. And they all become in series with this three. Doing that, we get, we can find our total resistance as this. After finding our total resistance, we need to find the total current. So to find the total current, we divide it by the total resistance, the total voltage by the total resistance. Then we get our total current as this. Then we need to now find the current that is flowing through this because we realize that when the total current gets here, it's placed between here and here. So we find the current that is flowing through this. Then we we'll apply KCL at this node to solve the value of IN. So doing that, we find the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor by using this. Then we find the current through this 2.4 ohm resistor by using applying current division. Then we finally find the value of IN by subtracting it from uh, uh, the current through the 3 ohm resistor in the 2.4 ohm resistor. Then to get an answer of 0.2. 87. After getting our answer, we need to now calculate for the Norton's resistor. To calculate for the Norton's resistor, we can just redraw the circuit to this because here we just stretch this three. We just stretch the arms. See, I just open the upper one and open straighten the bottom one. So doing that, this is the circuit I get. I realize that there is a delta here and there is a delta here. But this delta has all identical values. So since it has all identical values, so meaning whatever the each value I get for R A, R B, R C, it will be the same value. So I simply do that. So redrawing my circuit, applying star delta transformation, this is the circuit I get. Then I convert it. So the opposite resistor, this one and this one are opposite to R A. So calculate R A, I get R A as one, R B as one, and R C as one. So doing that. 1 plus the 2.4 becomes 3 and I add this and this. I realize that they are in series. Then when I add them all, they, this and this will be in parallel then in series with RA. Doing that, I get this equation. Then I finally simplify it to come and get my RN as 3.1702 ohms. So after doing this, I just find my Norton's equivalent circuit. So with my Norton's equivalent circuit, I draw in my Norton's equivalent circuit. I just put my 3 here. Then I need to calculate for my the current through the 3 ohm. To calculate the current through the 3 ohm, I just divide the total uh, the resistance by this plus this plus the this one. Then I just get my total answer. So this is how we solve uh, this question. Uh, so kindly take your time you can go through the other video to really understand please remember to like subscribe and share thank you very much for watching this video and if this video was really helpful to you don't forget to like share and comment please we have a telegram channel that uh, if you want to join you can uh, join and send questions and you feel free to contact us when you have further questions the telegram channel is same as the youtube channel so when you just go on telegram and you search you get us you can also uh, contact the the episode tutor on this number so thank you very much and please don't forget to like share and subscribe take good care of yourself i'm signing out bye